In this video, I'll walk you through how to work with ORMs like Prisma, Drizzle and Knex when working with Encore.ts. We will look at how to create and manage databases when running your application locally, but also how to go about getting an app using databases deployed to the cloud. Let's do it. Encore treats databases like logical resources in your code and natively supports PostgreSQL databases. But let's dive right into some code because that will speak for itself. To create a database, import SQL database from Encore SQL DB module and call new SQL database, giving it a name and a path to our migrations folder. In the migrations folder, Encore expects ordinary SQL files, which is how you define the database schema. Encore automatically handles up migrations. Each up migration runs sequentially, expressing changes in the database schema from the previous migration. The first migration typically defines the initial table structure. So for instance, the first migration file for a URL shortener service might look something like this. And if we would have other migrations, we would create them manually here. And with this code in place, Encore will automatically create the database for you using Docker when you run the command Encore run in your terminal. We can now start querying and inserting data into the database. And with the exec method, we can write SQL code for inserting data. We can even make use of template literals here, allowing easy use of placeholder parameters. And Encore takes care of escaping here, so there's no risk for SQL injections. The get endpoint takes a user ID as input, and here we're using the query row method, which returns a single row. We again use the template literal to send in the ID. If no rows are found, we return an error, otherwise we get the original URL from the row. Encore CLI comes with tools for you to interact with the locally running database. And you can, for example, run Encore DB shell to open a PSQL shell to the database. And when you start your app using Encore Run, you get access to the local development dashboard. And from here, you can easily call your endpoints. Each call to your application results in a trace that you can inspect to see the API requests, but also the database calls made during the request. But if you don't want to write SQL code by hand, you can use an ORM like Prisma, Drizzle or Knex. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. And what this basically means is that we're using the power of object-oriented programming to define a layer on top of our database. The ORM abstracts away the communication with the database and it can definitely speed up development. And one nice thing is that you get type safety when working with your database. But using an ORM is not a given and you should really think about if it suits your project because if you have committed to using an ORM and for some reason want to move away from it, it can be really cumbersome. And with that said, let's take a look at how to use Prisma, which is one of the most popular ORMs for Node.js together with Encore. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm to get this content in front of other people as well. Here we have another app and this one uses Prisma. Let's take a look in the Prisma directory, which contains a schema.prisma file and a migration folder. Apart from the actual schema, we specify some other things in this file as well. For the data source, we need to set the dialect and the URL to the shadow database. Prisma requires a shadow database for certain operations. And essentially it's a second temporary database that is created and deleted automatically. Encore comes with built-in support for shadow databases. To get the Encore shadow URL, we run the following command in the terminal. And then we paste the value into the schema file. And this is our user schema right now. In the database.ts file, we create a database like we did earlier, but this time we get the connection string and pass it in when we're creating the Prisma client. Now we can use the exported Prisma object in other files to query and update data in the database. And you can run npx prisma migrate dev to create new migrations if you have made any changes to the schema.prisma file. And the migrations file will be automatically applied by Encore. We also need to add the following npm script that will run after installing our dependencies so that Prisma sets everything up in our CI pipeline when deploying. Let's take a look at another popular ORM, Drizzle. 
In the database.ts file, we again create the database and pass in the connection string. In the Drizzle config, we specify the migrations folder, the name of our schema file, and that we are using PostgreSQL database. And this is what a Drizzle schema file looks like. And with that, we can now insert into our database or query like you are used to with Drizzle. Run the Drizzle kit generate command to generate migrations. Migrations are automatically applied when you run your Encore application. So you don't need to run any other Drizzle kit commands other than this. Knext.js is a SQL query builder, which is somewhere in between an ORM and writing raw SQL queries. We create a database like we did before and pass in the connection string to the database when creating a new Knext client. We also need to specify that we're using PostgreSQL. Then we can create a query builder by using the connects db object, passing in the type of the object we are storing in the database and the table name. Now we can use the exported user object in our other files to query and update data in the database. Query Builder is a bit easier to set up, but you don't get the same level of auto-completion in your editor and type safety as with ORMs like Prisma and Drizzle. So how would we go about deploying an application that uses a database? Well, you can build your application using Encore Build and you get it as a Docker image that you can deploy anywhere you want. You will need to supply a runtime configuration where you specify how the application should connect to the infrastructure you are using, like databases or PubSub. But if you don't feel like managing this stuff manually, you can use Encore's cloud platform, which automates setting up the needed infrastructure in your own cloud account on AWS or GCP. And it comes with built-in CI CD, so you just need to push to deploy. In cloud environments, Encore automatically injects the appropriate configuration to authenticate and connect to the database. So once the application starts up, the database is ready to be used. The platform also comes with monitoring, tracing and automatic preview environments. So you can test each pull request in a dedicated temporary environment. If you want to play around with one of these ORM examples yourself, you can easily do so by installing Encore, description under the video, and then cloning one of the examples from the example repo. And you need to have Docker installed because that is needed to create databases locally. And that's it. There's a few links under the video that you can check out. And if you have any questions, then reach out on Encore's community on Discord. See you.